Pokemon lovers and welcome to yet another episode of Rating All Pokemon where I rate a bunch of Pokemon each week. Oh my god, Hilda, is your cold not over yet? What, uh, what, how long is this cold gonna last? Uh, it's the same day as the previous episode, so I don't know, it might be gone now, but uh, it's not in this video because I am a professional YouTuber and I work ahead. Sometimes. <laughs> Today we have uh, five Pokemon that we're going to talk about and I hope you are excited to learn new things with me, your teacher in the world of Pokemon. I know everything. <laughs> I don't know anything. Today we are starting out with number 522, Zebstrika. That's wrong. Blitzel. Blitzel is a zebra Pokemon, and have you guys noticed that in Unova, all the Pokemon look exactly like actual animals for the first time ever? Like, they are, they are not based on fucking zebras. This is a fucking zebra. Or is that just me? I might have just called it zebra man. Zebra, tiny zebra man. That would have made sense to me. Blitzel is an electric zebra Pokemon and uh, it likes to run around in thunderstorms to charge its energy and stuff. Now Blitzel has this beautiful mane and in that mane it stores energy um, by running through thunderstorms and stuff like that. It sometimes j discharges this energy because I mean you gotta get rid of it at some point. Uh, it does that. When it does that its entire like all its stripes light up and that's kind of cool. Now, like I said, it flashes up uh, and it communicates with other Blitzel by regulating these these flashes, these charges. Uh, I don't know, does it not make sounds? I'm sure it makes sounds, right? Oh, I fucking know. Well, like I said, Blitzel uh, is, is based on a zebra. I mean, it can't really be based on anything else because it just looks exactly like a zebra. Uh, but it may also be based together with its next evolution on Helios' steeds that pulled its carriage. Their names were Bronte and Sterope, and those names mean thunder and lightning. So that's kind of cool. That's a cool little backstory. Here's a funny story. Its name comes from Blitz, which is German for lightning and uh, little. Doesn't matter. The German name isn't Blitzel, even though that comes from the German word. Its German name is Elezeba, which comes from uh, Elektricität, Zed, Elektricität, I don't know, I'm not German, which means electricity and zebra. Now, why the fuck not just keep, I swear to God, why do you want to be so extra, German name makers of Pokemon? Like, why? Why do you want to be extra? Just use Blitzel. It comes from the German word already. Ah, four out of five. <laughs> At level 27, Blitzel evolves into Zebstreaker. Now, Zebstreaker is a slightly larger zebra. That is definitely just a zebra. It's known as the Thunderbolt Pokemon. And just like Blitzel, it can store electric power, power in its uh, mains. It's a very irritable Pokemon, which uh, kind of sounds logical for an electric type. I don't know why. I'm like, yeah, electric types should probably be very irritable. Why? Don't really know, just think they should be. And it just like shoots lightning from its manes when it's annoyed or pissed off. It's a very fast Pokemon, it can run as fast as lightning and with every gallop you hear a thunderclap. Now that sounds loud. <laughs> now Zebstreaker is also based on a zebra and on Helios's two steeds Bronte and Serapy named Thunder and Lightning respectively. Not a great backstory, but you know, we, we can make something out of it. It's, a, it's called Zebra, yeah. Its name comes from Zebra and Strike, but the German name uh, is Zebritz, which comes from Zebra and Blitz. Should have just fucking switched it. Germany, why? Four out of five. <laughs> Next up is number 524, Rog and Roller. Now, I found out something surprising when I was doing my research for Rog and Roller. The thing on its head is not an eye. It's an ear. It doesn't have eyes, it just has ears. And it uses this ear, it, like, it follows sound. So it will just like hear a sound, follow it. When the sound stops, it gets really confused and topples over. That's kind of adorable for a rock type creature. It is able to hear sounds that are inaudible for humans, kind of like a dog. And uh, yeah, it just waddles around <laughs> caves and other areas with rocks in it. Pokemon Sun says, Born deep within the ground, it compares itself with similar species, such as Geodude and Carbink, to Settle, which has the hardest body. 
Nice. Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> rock and Roller is based on a geode and its name comes from Rock and Roller, as in a person who plays rock and roll music. I mean, apart from the fact that it has the word rock in it, I'm not quite sure what the fuck, why, why it's called that, but I guess we'll never know. I give Rock and Roller a 3 out of 5. At level 25, Rock and Roller evolves into Bulldor, which is another uh, rock boy that looks kind of like a crab or something, something of that type. Two things on its foot on its head. Not eyes, guys. They are ears. Get used to it. I'm not used to it. And it's a very strange thing to me, but there, there it is, all right? So Boulder is able to store a lot of energy inside its body and all these orange crystals on its body are the hardened form of its endlessly leaking energy. I don't know how energy turns into an orange crystal, but I mean, that's one of those things that just is just Pokemon. Pokemon Moon says, it explores caves in search of underground water. It's not comfortable around water, so this Pokemon takes great care in lapping it up. Why is it, why does a rock need water? Why does it need water to drink? Like, why does it drink? It's not even... Like, what? it's weak against water. Baldor is also based on a geode and also, like, kind of on a crab, because it kind of looks like a crab. Its name comes from Baldor and Or, and I give Baldor... I have no opinion on Baldor. Four out of five, I guess? When you trade a Baldor, it evolves into Gigalith, and Gigalith is a large rock boy Pokemon, also known as the compressed Pokemon, but why not call it large rock boy Pokemon from now on? Let's just do that. Fun fact, the ears on Baldor are ears, but inside these ears are its eyes. Now this is when shit gets complicated. That sounds very inconvenient, having your eyes inside of your ears, but... <sighs> Pokemon. Gigalith is able to compress massive amounts of energy inside its body uh, and it's enough to blow away mountains and since it usually lives in caves it could just blow away its house if it wanted to don't do that though gigalith please gigalith's shiny form is a very cool color um i know i don't know if you've noticed but i like most pokemon that are teal colored and a lot of shinies are so that pleases me i wish i had shinies I do, not, I do not have shinies. Gigalith is based on a crystal formation. That's pretty much it, to be honest. There's nothing nothing more to that. And its name comes from Gigas, which is the Greek word for giant, and Lithos, which is Greek for stone. I give Gigalith a four out of five. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, these Pokemon weren't that great, but they are Pokemon, so I don't know what I'm saying anymore. I hope you have a lovely week, and please let me know what you think of this week's Pokemon, I guess. And thank you so much. Thank you so much. Good day to you, sir and lady. Bye.